Happy Easter. It's so good to see everybody here today. Welcome to Sunday School. So I'm Jackie, the kids director here at Meadowbrook Church, and somebody has my notes because I passed them out with an envelope. So you can, pass, you can like go through it and be like, is she on track? Um, and then we'll try to do that with Pastor Brian, <laughs> see how he does. All right, so in Sunday school, um, we have a beautiful opportunity to teach I love him so much. We're in life group together. <laughs> That's the best thing ever. Thank you. Um, this, is, this is awesome because I love that you get to be in Sunday school with us right now. The kids get to learn, and it is good and it is right that they are with us. It is good that we see their faces in this group. This is good. This is healthy. So I want us to look at the kids and I want us to welcome them. Welcome. So, this is an analogy that we talk about a lot in Sunday school because one of our main things, all right, everybody, two seconds to be quiet. <laughs> Something we talk a lot about is growing in our faith. It is important that we teach this generation the good things that God has done and Easter. Easter is what this is about. If you're a kiddo in here, Easter is what it's about. If Jesus did not rise, this does not make sense and we are wasting our time. Amen. That, that God and Jesus is alive. This is good, right? Now, it is important right now that we pay attention. And this is audience participation, especially from the kids and their adults that they brought with today. Now, the question is... What are these? Very good. Now, there's also plants up here, right? Are they alive or are they not? They're alive. And I know these are alive because they've made me sneeze all morning. So what do plants need to be alive? What do, what do they need? Yes. Water. Very good. Anybody else? Way, way in the back. Soil, see, they know. Lucy. Sunlight, those are really good things, right? So soil, water, sunlight, they might need friends, right? They need us to talk, to talk with them, right, so that they survive and it is good. Now, what happens if they don't have water? Yeah, they don't survive. Who here has plants that don't survive? Mm -hmm. You know, you know that wouldn't happen, and she didn't know I was going to say something. If you lived in Miss Megan Fyferic's house, your plants would live, because she knows how to make them live, and often she's like, you have that plant in the wrong place, and that is why it doesn't live. Now, an adult might know the answer to this question, or kids. What needs to happen at the bottom? What needs to happen at the bottom in order for this plant? Yes. Yes, it does. It needs a place to go, right? If it stays here, what happens? It gets gross and it gets moldy. It's our favorite thing, right? Mold at the bottom of our plant. So let's say there's no hole at the bottom. There's no hole at the bottom, right? So do, do we just keep it that way and let it get all nasty and moldy at the bottom? No, we don't want that, right? Because we want this plant to grow. We want this plant to grow. So what do we have to do? We have to make a new environment for this plant to grow. So what do we do? Here, we need to make a drainage, drainage system, right? So we put rocks on the bottom. We put soil. We put rocks. We put soil. We put rocks. And you know what we've done? We've created a new environment. Now, Because I like pink things, I got this. It's going to take me a second. Okay, now with us. 
Is this world supposed to be so hard? No. Is this world hard sometimes? All right, so I want some hands. What makes this world hard? I think I see a fiferic hand. Chloe, what makes it hard? COVID, did COVID make it hard? <laughs> yeah. COVID made it really hard. Who else? Pastor Brian. <laughs> no, you don't make it hard. <laughs> you have to answer the question. <laughs> When we get hurt. When we get hurt, that makes it hard. Was this world created for things to be hard and to be, to be dark? No, they were not created that way. Now, when God created things, it was supposed to be good. It was supposed to be bright. It was supposed to be that way. But we live in a dark place, right? Now, anybody ever not let their plants live because they don't put them in the sun? I do that, see? <laughs> We have some people with their spouses lifting up their hands. In, in my house, this is something that happens a lot. So what do we do? Do we just let them die without the light? No, we don't let them die without the light. What do we do? You do things like you do in my house, which my husband is proud of. We put a grow lamp in there, right? We put, we put something in there. We don't let them not live. We've set a new environment. and so. This is what we have, and I have one in my office, and we have one at home, and I had a different one I bought, but it looked weird, so we don't have it anymore. So we bring in, now who is the light in our own lives? Very good, say it aloud. Yes, we have, we have Jesus who is that light. He makes things that were hard right. This doesn't make sense without Jesus, right? Without Jesus, we don't survive right? This life, it's hard, but we want to grow here, right? Who here wants to grow? Yes, we want to grow. The kids, we want to grow in our height, and all of us want to grow in our faith, right? Now, there's some reasons in some ways he gives us. Now, one of the ways is prayer. Does anybody pray while they do things? I pray while I paint, or I pray while I do Play-Doh, or when I draw, or when I'm in my bed, right? And a lot of times we talk about this. When we pray, do we pray out of our hands? No. Do we pray out of our knees? No. Do we pray out of our eyes? No, we pray out of our hearts, our minds. But when we pray, we show God respect by closing our eyes, folding our hands, we are communicating, hey, God, you are good, and you are bigger than us, right? And we can, we're going to get to practice that in a second. Now, what else do we need? Let me look at my notes. I also pray with my journal. I needed to say that. I, I pray with my journal. Does any adults pray with their journal here? Yeah, a lot of us pray with our journal. Now, another thing that God gives us, does anybody have a phone? I'm not saying God gives us our phones. <laughs> But I am saying that God gives us people. How would we do this without people? Now, this picture was taken this morning, and it's of my daughter, Annabelle. You can let her know I did this. And her friend, Kate. And you can tell her that I did this, too. Now, this morning, they were doing something really funny. They found a little bunny that was this big, and they were chasing it and looking for it. And there was joy, and they were, they were running. It was super cute. I was like, you were like the women that were running to tell the disciples. They were so cute. And they are friends. They make this life better. Good friends make this life better. I also have this. Now, I was having a really discouraging day one, one time. And this girl named Piper, she made me this. And I will tell you, I lost my mind with excitement. And children, if you want me to do that more, please make these. This, this was the first one I got to put on my board downstairs. And it brought me such joy on that very kind of discouraging day. Who here has a friend that when you see them, they light up your world? Yeah. 
And I'm going to pray that if you don't, I'm going to pray that God brings you that friend. The last thing I'm going to talk about is the Bible. I was looking at home for a Bible, and I am not joking you. I have probably six or seven Bibles. Anybody else have a lot of Bibles? They don't matter if you don't open them, right? And this Bible is what helps us, right? We get to learn about the character and the goodness of God. And I tell you this, I will never teach anything that I do not believe. I will never pretend. And I will tell you, I truly believe, kiddos, that this is the inspired word of God and that everything in here is true. And I promise you, that is what I believe. And that is what the Sunday school teachers believe and the different people on staff. We believe that this book is true. And this book tells us that Jesus rose from the dead. And I believe that, or I wouldn't say it. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk about is who else did he send? Starts with an H. The Holy, the Holy Spirit. So everybody, who did he send? The Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit helps us, right? The Holy Spirit helps us to live. He shows us. He comforts us. He helps us. He helps us be reminded and bring us to the light. He is the light, right? This is good. And I will tell you, I believe in the depths of my heart that Jesus is alive. Now, we are going to close in prayer. And what we do here and in our Sunday school is we close our eyes, we fold our hands, and we bow our heads to show God that respect. So let's pray. Jesus, we thank you that you are alive and that you will never die. And I pray for each and every person in this room that they would come to know you in a deeper way and an honest way. Help us to live the way you want us to live. Show us what to do. And we pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen.